Hello friends, today we are going to study about arithmetic progression. Before starting my video, I would like to request you that please subscribe to my channel so that I can bring more such videos for you. You have to just click on the subscribe button and you can also click on the button given nearby that subscribe that is a bell. You can see you can click on that so whenever I post a new video you will get a notification for that. Now in this video I am going to tell you the basic or the introduction for arithmetic progression and I am going to solve these two sums you can see this. Actually understanding or the basic concept is so simple but when it is coming for implementation you will get different problems so I am going to explain you the concept and also I am going to solve these two sums. So, what is an AP? AP means arithmetic progression or you can say the short form of arithmetic progression is AP. First, I would like to tell you progress. Progression means progress. So, any number is having the same progress. Then that is called arithmetic progression. Look, I am giving you example. 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, 17, you can see this here you can see that after 2 if I add 3, 2 plus 3, 5, 5 plus 3, 8, 8 plus 3, 11, 11 plus 3, 14, 14 plus 3, 17 and so on. So here this number is having a progress and that progress is of all the of the same number 3 3 3 3 3 so when you are having progress in same number then that progress is called arithmetic progression and it is called an ap progress can be positive also it can be negative also 2 minus 1 minus 4 minus 7 and so on. it can be zero also 2 2, 2, 2. This is also an AP. Progress can be positive, it can be negative or it can be 0 also. But it should be same in the order. Now this is an AP. Why we are studying AP? Suppose this is your AP, the 2, 15, 8. Then if you want to find out then in the 40th term which is coming. This is the first term, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth and the 48 term. You have to do a big calculation. So, they had implemented few methods by which directly you can find out the 48 term. For that you have to study this AP. The first number of AP that is called A1 or it is also called only A. Second number A2, third number A3, a4 and so on. This is the 40th number. So that number will be called A40. We want to find out that number. So for this we want one formula. This is the formula by which we can find out An equals to A plus N minus 1 into D. Now you will tell me what is An. An means the number which we want that is called a n a means the first number n means it is the 48th number so first second third 48th number therefore n will be 40 difference you can see here the gap is of 3 3 3 3 same progress that progress is called the difference you can find out the difference by subtracting a2 minus a1 a3 minus a2 a4 minus A3, you will get 3 only every time. Now, I want A40. So, A40 will be equal to A is 2 plus. And we want the 48th number. So, N will be 40 minus 1. And the difference is positive 3. So, you will get 2 plus 39 into 3. 2 plus and 3 is a 27 to carry 11 so it will be 119 
so this 40th term a40 will be 119 understand so this is ap you will get the first number a means the first number d means the difference n means the number means the order or the list of the number 1 2 3 4 that will be n generally students are getting confused in n and an an means that number itself this one. and n means this this is n don't get confused in a n n n now this is the proper way to find out any number if they want to find out the uh, 50th number 60th number you can find out but we don't have to every time we don't have to find that look here now i am going to solve few questions because in that question you will come to know that what problems are coming it is so simple in this but when we are solving they are asking they can find, tell us to find a also n also d also or a n also anything they can tell look here i am going to solve this sum which term of the ap 38 13 18 is 78 means they had given here they in the previous question they had not given this term here they had given that term and we have to find this n it was 48 term we have to find uh, which term is this means a n so from this first we will make a list first number that is a difference 8 minus 3 5 or 13 minus 8 that is also 5 18 minus 3 that is also 5 so difference is 5 n that we want to find because this is a1 a2 a3 a4 and somewhere which term is this way so we want to find n and this will be 78 will be our an an will be 78 and n that will be question mark okay Now again, a n is equal to a plus n minus one into d. This is the basic formula. Here we are having seventy eight. A is three plus n we want to find, and the difference is five. Now five should be multiply with both this number. Multiply, or you can take seventy eight is equal to three plus five n minus five. Now five n minus These are the numbers, so it will be minus two plus five, and this is seventy-eight. So take this here; it will become seventy-eight plus two equals to five. So seventy-eight plus two will give you eighty. Eighty by five, that is n one, one and six. So n will be sixteen. So this number is a sixteen. This is the sixteenth term. Look. Again, one more example. Find thirty-first term of an AP whose eleventh term is thirty-eight and sixteenth term is seventy-three. Means they had given few terms, two terms from the AP. They had not given us AP. Just they had given any two terms from AP, and they told us to find this. So for Finding this first, we have to find a and d from these two terms, and then we have to put it here. Now we know eleventh term. So what will be a n equals to a plus n minus one into d. So a eleventh term is thirty eight equals to a. We want to find eleventh term. Look here directly. I am not doing it here, but in I will tell you a shortcut by directly. You can write down. A plus ten d equals to thirty. Look here, what we are getting a plus ten d. Whenever any term is there, directly you have to subtract one and keep it with d. Here sixteenth term is there, so what you are going to write a plus fifteen d. If they are giving you twenty um, d, find out the ten twentieth term. Then you have to write directly a twenty will be a plus nineteen d. Just you have to subtract one and keep it with d. Look here. This is your equation number one for sixteen term. I am writing directly. A n is equal to a plus or a sixteen is equal to a plus fifteen d directly. I am writing a sixteen term so directly fifteen d. Now seventy three equals to a plus fifteen. 
this is your equation number two now you are getting two equations you can solve by elimination substitution or cross multiply whichever method you like here i am writing a plus candy equals to 38 i am going to solve this by elimination method 73 now we have to subtract this a minus a gone this will be minus 5d and subtraction 13 minus 8 minus 8 5 and 6 minus 3 minus 35 now negative on both so d will be 30 i by 5 it will be 7 so we got d equals to 7 now you are getting d now keep in any of the equation uh, i will put it here 38 is equal to a plus 10 multiplied with 7 so 38 is equal to a plus 70 to take it on that side 38 minus 70 is equal to a so you will get a negative term minus 32 so your first term will be minus 32 your difference is 7 now directly you can find out the 31st term I told you in the beginning a 31 equals to I told directly you can write a plus 30 d now you are having a that is minus 32 plus you are having 30 and d is 7 so minus 32 plus 7 3 is at 2 1 0 now you have to subtract it 10 minus 2 will be 8 and then 10 minus 7 and 1 so your 31st term will be 178 thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel thank you so much